Hey guys, this is Greg again from Salisbury Scuba. Today we're going to talk about the differences between a high pressure tank and a low pressure tank. A lot of new divers, once they get certified, they'll come in and say, man, I'm, I'm just a really big air hog. I'm having to end my dive before everybody else. I need to buy a steel high pressure tank. My question to them is, why do you want high pressure? Well, let me explain to you the difference between low pressure and high pressure. Over here I have two 100 cubic foot tanks. This one is low pressure, this one is high pressure. Low pressure, this one is rated to 2400 PSI. This is high pressure, it is rated to 3442 PSI. Well in our minds, especially as beginners, we think that 3442 is a lot more air than 2400. Well, that is totally incorrect. Let's think about what we originally said about these tanks. They are both 100 cubic feet of air. And what that means is, on the low pressure, at 100 cubic feet, at 2440, we still have 100 cubic foot of air. This tank, we're gonna to have to fill it all the way to 3442 before we get 100 cubic foot of air. So with this being said, I think it's a lot better to have a low pressure tank. It's easier for the dive shop to give you an accurate feel to 2400 than it is to 3442 because of the tanks getting so hot during the fill. So let me show you the math on this. On a low pressure tank, we're going to take the volume of the tank. So these are 100 cubic foot. We're going to take the 100 cubic foot and we're going to divide it by the rated pressure. So on the low pressure, it is 2400. So 100 divided by 2400 equals once we get that number, we're going to times it by the actual fill. Well, a good thing about low pressure tanks, they come with a plus stamp on them. That plus means that we can put 10% more than the rated pressure in that tank. So 10% more than 2400 gets us up to 2640 PSI. So we're going to 100 cubic foot divided by rated pressure equals times actual fill. So we're going to times it by 2,640. After that math, we see that this 100 cubic foot tank now has 110 cubic foot of air in it. So even though we're only showing 2,640 on our gauge, and this guy over here on the high pressure tank is showing 3,442, at 3,442, remember, he only has 100 cubic foot of air. We've got 2,640 and we have 110 cubic feet of air. So let's talk about high pressure tanks. You do decide you wanna buy high pressure. I'm gonna show you a disadvantage on the high pressure. Same tank, same volume of air. 100 cubic foot, remember, we're gonna divide it by the rated pressure. Rated pressure on high pressure, 3442. Equals, then times by the actual fill. Well, as dive shops, it's real hard for us to fill to 3442 because of the heat that um, is caused by putting so much pressure into a steel tank. Once you get heated up, you leave with the tank. Once it cools down, you're gonna lose some pressure. So most of the time when we fill a high pressure tank to 3442, it's gonna drop back down to about 3200. So same math, 100 divided by rated pressure equals, then we times it, by the actual fill. So now that it's cooled down, we have 3,200 PSI in that tank. Guess what? Now this 100 cubic foot tank only has 92.96 cubic feet of air. Even though you're showing more on your gauge, 3,200 compared to 2,640, look at the difference. 3,200, I've got 92.96. At 2,640, I've got 110 cubic feet. What would you rather have? Low pressure, that's correct. We can also use this math in dive planning. Say we have a low pressure, 100 cubic foot tank, this guy right here. We throw it in the back of our truck to ride over to the quarry. Um, it, it, the, the valve got bumped a little bit and it lost a little bit of pressure. So when we get there, it's only got 2,000 in it. Well, you stand back and ask yourself, man, I've only got 2,000 PSI. Do I have enough gas to make this dive? Well, it's very simple, do the math. 100 cubic foot of air divided by the rated pressure, low pressure is 2,400 equals, and then we're gonna multiply it 
by the field. Remember, now we've only got 2,000 PSI of air in this tank. Hit the equals button, look what we have. 83.3 cubic feet still at 2,000 PSI. So your dive buddies that are diving aluminum 80s, you still have more air than they do. They're showing 3,000 on their gauge, you're showing 2,000, but you have 83.33 cubic feet, they're only gonna have 80 cubic feet. I hope this answered some questions about high pressure and low pressure. If you like the video, please subscribe below. And as always, happy diving.